Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. As always, guys, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. So we have Leo. And again, guys, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies and please leave the rest. We have slowly um and just a quick disclaimer kids are home so there may be additional noise okay uh just what i do what i do and just block them um <laughs> Uh, slowly um take your time or it takes time there, there's something that you're trying to rush or something that you're trying to you you want it now and this eagerness energy behind it, it is actually stalling it because what you are doing what you are sending the universe is that you lack of it right so because you lack of it the the, the universe is giving you more lack of it right so instead try to try to refocus your energy on your thoughts and and start to live life or speak to yourself as is whatever this is has already occurred right has already manifested for you so that you get out of this eagerness energy now whether this is um you know your, your physical appearance whether this is your finances your emotions or whatever it is take it slow Right. What, what was it that I heard? Um, when was it today? I think it was today. It said something about, um, it was Joey Slow. Um, and if you guys don't know him, he's a big, um, this big gym guy. Um, and he's working on like changing like the gym culture and stuff like that. And there was something that he said about, um, small goals and big vision right um it was something of that line don't call me on it because i can't remember at this point but it's about setting smaller goals but having the bigger vision in, in place right so so basically the bigger vision will be like your dream right the, that that lifestyle whatever it is that that you're dreaming of right that vision that you see so far ahead uh, but, but sometimes you want to go from here directly there and it doesn't happen overnight right there there are slow it, 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 when i talk about slowly i'm not telling you to procrastinate all i am telling you is that every day do something towards whatever that is right if your goal is to lose weight then every day do something that is going to help you lose weight if your if your goal is to gain weight then do something every day that is going to help you gain weight if your goal is to be financially stable then do something every single day to allow you to be financially stable what does that look like hey first thing you gotta do is look at that budget what is it that you have coming in and what is it that you have going out if you're if you do not know where your finances stand how are you thinking or how are you how do you think you're going to be financially stable right and, and that's kind of like the kind of like with the the way that i want you to look at this right because a lot a lot of you are so focused on the vision right the end goal of something but because you're so focused on wanting to get there you, you're trying to take shortcuts or you're trying to skip something right or, or you're procrastinating and then trying to do it all at once right so like let's say you have a wedding in six months right and you want to sit and fit into a specific dress or a specific suit and you want it to look a specific way and you have six months to get there right whether you have to lose weight gain weight gain muscle whatever it is right but you procrastinate and then it's like a month before the wedding you're doing all these crash diets or you're eating like all these crash diets to try to lose weight or you're eating all this crap to try and gain weight and it's like hey guess what when the wedding day comes you're not gonna fit into that dress right and that's kind of like the way that you have to look at it if you start to take a step um every single day towards that vision that you have and you'll get there but it's going to take daily work and the daily work is not going to be the same every single day so let's go ahead and let's pull out a love energy card now the love energy can be any type of love romantic platonic yourself this week's energy seems more about self what it is that people are what are the people's challenges when it comes to that love or with self right that connection with themselves um, um spirituality your dreams your desires your vision so give me one card i am using the dark mirror deck 
Um, give me one card spirit. So we have number 19, Parasite. What is that parasitic energy and it, that, that, you, that you're not fighting off? That you're letting suck the life out of you? That procrastination, that not showing up, that uh, making excuses, that um, not, 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 sh <laughs> I, I want to laugh because it's like, I, I feel like I sound like a broken record at this point, whether it is for you, Leo, or for other people, it's kind of like the same thing. It, you you want something you want to achieve something but you're not putting in the daily work right and and you want to do it all in one day and then that's it and it doesn't work like that whatever it is that you're trying to achieve cannot be achieved with one day of work it, it's just that simple it's not it's not <laughs> Sorry. Um, if it does, uh, and if you figure it out, okay, let me know, right? Uh, regardless of whatever it is, right? We're all intrigued when it comes to this, right? So what, what you have to realize is that it is going to require something of you every single day. Whether it is the way that you show up for yourself, whether it is the work that you're doing, whether it is the way that you're talking to yourself, right? Every day the work is not always the same. Right, and, and that's where a lot of people kind of get stuck with certain things, right? We we have to learn to experience life, and yes, structure is great. I love structure, but I've also learned that when I listen to me, right, to my inner self, whether that is with um, with what I am eating, with how I am resting, with what am I, why am I listening to, with what I'm, I'm consuming, whether that is um, uh, communications with others or music or whatever it is, when I listen and hear and I allow my higher self to guide, is better than any structure or any plan or anything that I could have had. There has to be room, there, there has to be this, you have to, you have to be able to find this balance, um, Leo, of having structure, but also being flexible within it, right? Um, you cannot be too rigid with anything. <clears throat> there has to be a balance when it comes to everything. Um, so let's go ahead and let's pull out your oracle card for your closing message. <clears throat> so give me one card, Spirit. The broom. What do we use broom for? To sweep away what is no longer working. That procrastination, that the thinking everything is going to work and not in, in like in one day, you have to that mentality, you have to you have to shift it. Um, and, 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 and I know that it sounds contradicting, right? Because you can manifest anything in one day, right? But you have to, when, when you get to that point where you can instantly manifest, there, there's a lot of underneath spiritual work that is done with that, uh, that a lot of people don't like talking about or really don't explain, right? Um, there, there are certain things that for me are easier to manifest than others, right? Because the programming surrounding it was easier to shift or transition than others. And that's kind of like the way that you have to look at it. So that's why I'm saying that I'm not every single day the work that you're doing is going to be the same. Sometimes, sometimes there may be a day where you're going to be led into a spiritual work in itself, whether that's into prayer or fasting or whatever it is. And you may be asking yourself, like, how the hell is this going to work towards that? vision Shh. hush and listen to yourself number eight what dreams may come from what you seek make room make way a clearing need be there's a dream there's a dream there's something that you want to achieve there's something that you really want but you're blocking this by not changing your mindset, by not allowing yourself to listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. I know that it may not make sense at that moment, but trust me, it is going to work in your favor. Well, guys, that is all that I have. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.